Oh yeah, black sun in the hizzle, all oh, for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show today. I want to introduce Anonymous. Anonymous is in the hizzle for shizzle. I'm going to have everybody, starting from this side, introduce yourselves. You, you go first, since you're closing. I'm D. I'm Jen. Okay. I'm Sammy. Okay. And I'm uh, Nathan. All right, I met you guys at the, they call it the Rocket Stone Mountain, the Ku Klux Klan. Y'all disrupted our mate. <laughs> God damn, we can't march up the mountain without groups like Anonymous and all these other groups disrupting our march there. What, what's going on here? What, what, why, why the disruption? Because as Georgians, we will not accept them marching in the streets any longer. We're not going to sit idle. We're not going to do nothing. We're going to show them that we're not just in the keyboards taking down their web pages. We're also in their faces. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, let me ask. You. Now, did Anonymous start during the Wall Street, uh, Occupy Wall Street, or did yeah. you guys start? Okay. Okay. Now, um, so you guys, I mean, tell me about, tell me about, you know, the aims, goals, tell, tell me about, you know, Anonymous, a little something. Well, first off, Anonymous is just an idea. Okay. And we might not always agree with each other, but we're fighting for the common goal. Okay. Which is fighting the elite, the government, okay. the tyranny, the corruption. Right. Um, too many people living out in poverty, homeless right. out there, you know, um, so much hate, racism. That's right. You know, I can't believe, you know, in this day and age that there's, you know, so much racism out there. Right. And, and there's also people who don't really understand what's going on and don't educate themselves and perpetuate the hate. And that's what the government wants. You know, they don't want us to unite and they don't want us to, you know, work with each other. That's they right. just want us separate, separated. Okay, okay. Now, because I know you guys do a lot of... Uh, a lot of, you know, I wouldn't say national issues. Do you guys ever deal with like any international issues like human rights, like Saudi Arabia, Yemen, that kind of stuff? Because, you know, we allies with these kind of people. You know, we, we allies have, with we kids. We do a lot of things around the world, not, not just here in America. Okay, okay. I've, I've come from the UK to, to do the Stone Mountain event, and that's for the simple fact of Antifa. Antifa, the anti-fascist, the anti-racist people that don't actually don't actually stand for the bullshit. Right. We, we need to cut it out for the final stomp. Not really. That's what like we came to the Stone Mountain to actually unite and be part of something that that people don't usually do. Like right. We still be the Confederates. We still be, we still be the BLM. We still be the Black Black Panthers. We still be everyone. Right. And we stood there uniting against the KKK, and yet still everyone's hating against it. Right. And we just had, what what else can we do? Right. They, everyone wants everyone to unite, and then when we do, there's still more hate. Okay. And, like, the division is like to the point now where the government actually run this world. No right. matter what, we can't get past it. We never will get past it. Right. Unless we stand together and fight against it. Now. Right. And you know, and I, and I want to say that you know a lot of the groups that I met, they, you know, there was a lot of misconceptions. That, and, and I learned a lot that day. You know, um, like I met the. Michigan Confederates, yeah. you know. Now, when I, first got, I thought they were the Klan. <laughs> Everyone you know? thought they were Klan. Right, yeah, yeah, you know, in, in... I think when we ran into you... Yeah, that's what we supposed to yeah. yeah. They were running at each other. Yeah, good thing y'all came, because I just, I was, I was, like I said, I got there late. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, I mean, dang, how do I put this? You know, I, I'm, I'm part of a, let's say, Splinter Black Panther group. Because, you know, the Black Panthers have been infiltrated by the Nation of Islam, so you got a lot of, you know, Muslims in the group now. So, you know, we, uh, I'm part of another group with a different ideology, you know. We, we come from the ideology of Malcolm X, Black Nationalism. Yeah. Well, you know, from that time up in, well, past Huey P. Newton, you've had a lot of guys like Khalid Mohammed that brought in the whole era of black supremacy, black separatism, so it's like we have to kind of separate ourselves from that, you know, because we're not with 
you know, being superior over anybody, you know. We, we want to change more or less the control of politics and economics. But that doesn't, you know, but some people, they take um, the idea of hate because it's taught in their religious doctrine. Exactly, it's learned. It's not, it's not something that you, that you are. Right, you know, so, you know, and that's why, so I had, you know, so, so going there, you know, I, I saw some old factions of mine. So yeah. I know how hot-headed they are, so, you know, I was, you know, like the U.P. Newton Gun Club, you know, you got a lot of cool people, but you got some, I call New Jacks in there that are, that are kind of hot-headed. Exactly, just ready for anything. Right, yeah, 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 you know, Q, Q, Y, B, Q, Y, you know, and I'm like, come on, man, really? So, it's, by them just seeing Confederate flags, yeah. even me, I was like, okay, right, is that the plan? That's like, yeah, yeah. Right, so I got a chance to talk to them, and they said they want to take their flag back. And I never understood until that day the term heritage, not hate. Yeah, I've always seen it, but I thought it was some type of trick or not something. Say, yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's not. They're, they're not here to hate everyone. They actually right. want. They stood with the, the Black Panthers. You know? Right. They didn't, they didn't hate anyone. It's all they shook hands with with each other. Right, right. Like no, no one wanted that day to end up in a fight. Nobody at all. Right, it's right, right. Company for that. Right, and then. I'm going to uh, interview the three percenters, too, because the whole situation with Lloyd Pentagon. Yeah. You know, they're like, oh, these white green in there. You know, they try to associate them with just, you know, the media. You know, I mean, just like anonymous. Yeah. You know, the Black Panthers, we all get a bad rap. So that's why I'm here today to shed a light, you know, even like with the Bastards MC Club. Yeah. I mean, all these groups came together that day. And so, I, you know, we made history. We did. You know. But that's why I'm here now to tell our story because we already know you guys as announcements know how the media gets down, you know. So um, just fuck with us going all the time. But like yeah. you said with the Black Panthers and the Splitter groups, and y'all always agree on the same ideas. It's the same way with Anonymous, you know. Okay. It's all the same common core idea. I mean, we may not always agree with everything, but right. you know, we're still a family. That's you know, right. At the end of the day. Right. As anonymous, you do what you think is right, not what you think is wrong. And if you do something wrong, you never talk about it. Okay. Okay. Now, let me add, because uh, now you got, are you guys an anarchist group? Oh, I, I mean, you got that right there. So, is it, we all, all so I mean, with most anarchist groups, I know we, we uh, share like a council. Like, there's no one man in charge, correct? Yeah, no, there's no, no, gods, no leaders, no masters. masters. God, I love it. Oh, I love so, it. I'm home. Yes, okay. And that's another thing I had to split up from the. That's why we got factions too, because we deal with council. But that's one thing, though, is that <coughs> not all anonymous are anarchists. Okay, okay. I mean, but the other thing is, anarchy has gotten a bad rep it has, by right. the media, by that's the right. government, making everybody out to be terrorists, just like they make anonymous out to be terrorists. Right. Um, but even then, some people believe that anarchy. Is all about Molotovs and you know right. and destruction. destruction. Well, it's not chaos. No, it's about fighting the, the bigger picture and, and it's being about love. It, it is right. it's, it's fighting against something that you love or against something that you hate for something that you love together as a team. Whether it means violence at the end of it, that well, it doesn't matter. But okay. it, sometimes you got to take things by force, haven't you? Right, right. Um, well, let me ask this question, because, I mean, and, and i got to play devil's advocate. You guys are in Argus group, and let's just say there's a faction here. Now, for the most part, everybody was kind of peaceful, but then you had some other guys, you know, that got arrested. Yeah. And I'm friends with this other anarchist group, but I didn't agree with the whole getting arrested thing. I'm not, you know, because I think it feeds the system. You get arrested, you got post bail, you got post court, you know, you're feeding the system. And not only that, but the media jump on it. And yeah, they, yeah. then they're like, oh, well, look at these people, you know. And, right. and then it gives everyone a bad name and the movement a bad name, saying <coughs> that we're all violent. Right. It feeds into what they're trying to perpetuate. I mean, we will get down if it has to. Right, right. If it comes down to it, I mean, Absolutely. we will. If we're provoked, we'll, we'll get, you know, do what right. we have to do to protect ourselves and our loved ones. That's right. But, you know, to go out there and just, you know, make it seem like all we are are just violent people and, you know, it just perpetuates the hate. Right. Now, let me ask this, because, you know, like I asked uh, Chavez, you know, I agree with no guys, no masters, but 
how do we well deal with people who are basically agitators you know who want to disrupt start trouble and you know because it's something as small that's the best thing just ignore it you just okay. you, don't, you don't what's the point in getting what's the point in getting yourself in that confrontation where it's going to spark a fight okay. or at least something's going to happen if you get yourself into that into that position then you, you yourself are part of the problem really if you think about it okay if you're one of the ones that actually want to start the fight then why, we why really do try to make that last resort yes yeah. okay that, that okay. is i mean it's not who we are we're, we're here to stand by what we love Right, and right. What we'll, we'll, we'll fight for it at the end of the day. If it comes to comes to it, we'll do it. Right. So getting arrested is not a badge of honor, right? No, no. no. Oh, okay, all right, you can't you can't say what's on your mind, and you can't preach what you're trying to get out there if you're behind bars. Right, right. right. And you it can't works. travel globally if you have arrest, you know, stuff on your record. Right, They're right. not going to let you in countries. That's true. Right, right. You know. I didn't get here on a, a naughty record. <laughs> hey, I went to the UK, so, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, we try to fight the fight globally and globally network, and we've made so much family and friends from just, you know, going out and networking and actually doing and being at events. Now, the UK. <laughs> <laughs> the Labour Party. Oh, I don't even start me on that. Oh, you know, I got the stuggers, you know, but I'm going to enter kind of interrelate that with Bernie Sanders, the whole cuisine. Oh, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> the drunk guy at the rally. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, so yeah. What they came up to us too. What, what do you think about all the Muslims invading Britain? Oh, wow. I mean, That's... I, you know, I, I want to get, because they actually had, before uh, Rock Star Run, they had an anti-Muslim rally on the Capitol. But I have some interest, I mean, I'm a, I'm a true believer in separation of church and state. Uh -huh. Now, one thing I don't agree with Islam is that, and actually, uh, people don't know this about Christianity too, is that they, for re people that really read it, their whole doctrine is to impose a theocracy. Yeah. And when you look at places like Saudi Arabia and Iran, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with theocracy. So, I believe that religion should be your personal. Yeah. And never imposed on anybody like so if you want to be somebody then you be that person right right that's why it fits in again no gods no masters right that's right that's right because you know saudi arabia you know you got what they call religious police yeah. and they can go around accusing you of being a witch yeah. and they'll execute you that's it, yeah. and that's crazy that's because what they think right right based on a belief yeah exactly like no proof no evidence they don't need proof yeah, yeah that's crazy so that's why i think you know they should keep Church and state separated because I don't I don't oh, yeah. agree with the you know because I can say and, and I don't want to offend anybody else religion I can say you know there's a pink unicorn in my car yeah that's been sent by the bills it's a belief it's a witch I'm gonna kill it right 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 exactly <laughs> right so, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> yeah right so I'm, yes, right yeah. right you know I think we're going back we're going back to the same witch trials we're going back to the the, the conquistadors and I mean it's no we I think we need to evolve evolve right absolutely yeah. you know so. Um, you know, and then let's just keep it real. All religions promote sexism and racism. You know, because every religion say, "Oh, we're God's chosen people." You know, so how does that make the rest of the people feel? You know, you know. Everyone's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So that's why I don't, I don't, I don't agree with being in the government. But I mean, if it helps people personally, then that's fine. But you know, so um, and that's why I had. To, Disagreement with the whole infiltration of the nation Islam coming to the Panthers. Because a lot of people don't know Huey P. Newton was an atheist. Yep. Kwame Tory, atheist. Bunchy Carter, atheist. So, you know, they didn't, they wouldn't uh, agree with a lot of the ideologies that are coming into the whole Panther Party. And so, and as y'all know, you know, Nation of Islam teaches the white man's the devil. You know, and that's, that's it, yeah. You know, that's, that's it's a crazy belief system. So, um, um, let's talk about um, some of your because I know you guys go around state to state yeah, different yeah. protests different protests all the time yeah. okay okay I know the next one is what Monsanto uh, actually the next one that we have is next Sunday yeah. we're going to go out and feed the homeless in Philly okay good to share love yeah. and then the following one um, yeah. is a march against Monsanto okay and then there is a, a very big one, which is a Flint, Michigan 
Oh, yeah. The wall of truth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Point and out. we're going out there to drop water um, to the people. Right. And, um, you know, just the, there's a, it's a, a, a two day um, event. One is uh, to drop the water, and then there's another one where we're going to brief on the situation at hand. Okay. Um, a lot of people have do been doing a lot of work and investigations, and, you know, we're just going to put it all on the table. Okay, good. Excellent, excellent. Um, give me one second. I gotta be sure. Uh, I didn't flip this camera. Uh, okay, y'all. Keep an eye out. Y'all keep an eye on that one. Okay. Make sure that one. I'll see. Okay. Y'all be okay. Uh, um. Let's talk. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. And no, of course, no. the most important one, November 5th. <laughs> oh, Million Mass March. The Million Mass March. And this year is going to be that. big. Because see, this year is election year here in the U.S. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let me get y'all take on the whole Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. None of them. Oh, no. None of them? No. Uh-oh. I'm not calling it that. I don't agree with any of them. Yeah. I mean, how can you really okay, sit okay. there and <laughs> say okay, that our yeah, vote counts? Who counts our votes? That's good. Man. Wow. That's good. Right. The, the Electoral College. Electoral College. They pretty much already know who they're going to get in there. It's ran by corporations now. Right. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter who you get in there. It's all still ran by the same puppets pulling the strings. Wait a minute. Are you saying this is the United States of Walmart Corporation? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the United States of Rothschild? That's it, yeah. yes. The Rothschilds run the world. Oh, man. So... Damn, yeah, the Rothschilds, Bilderbergs, yeah, I, I, yeah. Um, yeah, as you know, they control the media. We'll get started on that. I mean, well, let, let's look at, you know, Bernie Sanders talking about a political revolution, you know. You know, he's a socialist, supposedly, or democratic socialist. I mean. How many um, elect, uh, candidates have we seen that talk a really big game until they get into office? Yeah. They can say whatever they want to. Doesn't mean they're going to do anything. I'm voting for the pink unicorn in your trunk. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, there's somebody's puppet. That's true. That's true. Um, it just proves that there's a high up somewhere. Right. You know. Um. I I'm, I'm glad y'all. You know, because I mean, we talked about you know Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders and Trump, but one thing I could say about. I don't know that much about Trump, and I don't know that much about Bernie, but I know Hillary has a atrocious track record. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, she got her hands all in the coup d'etats in South America. Yeah. Had her hands in the child slave laborers in Haiti, China, Singapore. Um, let's not mention her hands in Saudi Arabia, how she's supporting the Yemenis getting bombed. I mean, lock it on her. So that was all a big game. Right. It's like it's human genocide at its finest. That's it. Right. Killing off each and every person slowly. But in fact, you know who Hillary Clinton is? That's everybody. She she's a rebirth of Margaret Thatcher. Exactly. Yeah. She's, exactly. She's, 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 exactly. She's a reincarnation of Margaret Thatcher, man. You already know Margaret Thatcher was oh, yeah. a straight warhawk. She's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Proper bitch. Proper cum. That's it. No, but I just I don't think we should have that. Well, we should we should have a, something to go by, but I don't think we should have uh, a, a, a president here in America. Same with uh, if we go back to England, I don't think we should have a prime minister. I think we should, yeah, we should have something to abide by, like okay. some kind of rule, some some form of government, but not what we have at the moment. It's fucked. I think we need to wipe the slate clean. Yeah, clean house. Okay. Now, okay, that's interesting. Um. And that's why I'm glad we had that rally today because, you know, I'm all for councils, but how do we, I guess, sit at the table, distribute some of the resources, um, security, you know, jobs, uh, I don't know, I guess, how would, how would this new system look, basically, you know, um, and, and you got a lot of religious fanatics out there, you know, they want a theocracy, it's like, how do we balance, I guess, this new slate, as far as you know. I mean, there's no real answer to that. You have, we have a long time coming. There's going to be 
horribleness before there's anything great. I mean, we have to go through what we have to go through before we can all come to a table and figure out how we're going to divide things and come together. But, I mean, just at, like at Stone Mountain, we did come together in a time of need, and we can come together. We are one. We can unite. It's all through love for our country, our people, our planet, animals. That's right. And milk, milk, wheat, bread. And my thing is, is um, if you look at back in the traditional ways, like in the small African um, villages and the Native American community, they just had a simple government system. They didn't have like people ruling over everybody saying it. They all talked it out, worked it out. They came together as a community. They shared food. That's right. They raised each other's kids as a community. And, you know, they worked out great for them. That's right. They weren't like, this person tells everybody what to do. Right, right. That one person in charge, though. I mean, they had, like, they had a chief, but they also had a council. That's true. That's true. Hmm. I like that. I like that. Um, I guess... I would, I mean, you know, I guess where would science and technology fit into that too? Because I mean, people can say, well, that was a different time. Now we, in a more technologically advanced age, with you know, computers. We all we also got the same habits. If you think about it, we've learned all this bullshit for the past hundreds of years, and it's still playing in, in what's every what goes on every day. Right. It, it's, we're not going to get around it unless we cleanse what we, we've got already and purge from what from within, really. Okay, okay. That's how I see it. Hmm. We can't get anywhere unless unless we uh, do other things to that. Okay, and we're, okay. We're going to get there. we electing Hillary and Bernie. Because what we've been doing so far hasn't been working. No. Something has to change. Right, right. And we may not all believe that it has to be burnt down first, but it, something has to change. This is... We as people need to unite to make a change. Okay. Now, let me ask this because I know I have a lot of environmentalist uh, animal rights friends you know and you know I think the biggest fight right right let me ask you this question because the biggest fight I think will be amongst our fellow brothers and sisters because you know um, you know the biggest pollutants are not the cars and factories but the cows the chickens the methane gas they said that's the biggest cause of pollutants so uh, I guess my question would be, ah, uh, um, because a lot of the corporations are controlled by our desires. Like we're the biggest consumers and demanders of these things, and so one might say that it might cause infighting because we're, we're the consumers of these products. You know, like, you know, like the meat industry. That's one of the biggest, you know. Um, yeah, but we don't really know what we want. We've been brainwashed by television and media, and they've been telling us to eat McDonald's and, right. and all these GM places with GMOs and all that's these right. horrible foods. That make, they make people think that's what they need and want, and it really isn't. You, you, I mean, maybe we need to go back to the days where we hunt for our own food and only right. kill to eat. Okay, okay. And that, that also goes into the, the issue of portions. I mean, you know, I'm sure, you, you know, Nathan's come over here and seen, like, in America, freaking portions are huge. You right, know, you yeah. There's finish. a big obesity problem here. And, it is. And not only that, but there's so much waste in food. And, and they don't use that food. That's like, right. there's so many people out there that are hungry. You know, I mean, there are pizza shops that, you know, make all these extra pizzas, and then at the end of the day, they throw it in the trash exactly. instead of maybe donating it to the homeless. Right. To a shelter or anything. Right. Exactly. And right. there's just so much waste. I mean, we are so wasteful. And what makes me mad is that you got places here in Atlanta that the grocery stores, they started putting lye on the food they throw away because people were going, you know, yeah, leaving the trash. Yeah. And that right there is part of the reason why you cannot go out and be the homeless in Atlanta. You have to have a permit to do so. Man, what's that all about? It's saving someone's life at the end of the day, so I don't, it's, it's fucked up, how can you do that to somebody? Mm-hmm. It's like telling them you cannot eat. Right. That's, that's stopping somebody from eating or, or drinking. You know, that, that one bit of food could save their life. Absolutely, and, right. And they're saying you have to have a permit. 
full of shit. I can't pack up a dozen sandwiches and take it to downtown Atlanta and hand it out to the homeless because I don't have a permit to do so. Right. That's but on the other hand, they also don't want people poisoning, poisoning them. Yeah. So it's a catch. 50, it's a catch twenty two. I mean, you got good. I mean, are there cases of them being actually poisoned, or are they just making that up? They're making that bullshit up to enforce a law that is actually that is real. You know what I mean? It's not something that you can see. It's not brought down anywhere. There's no actual real law about this. They just made that bullshit up and put it there on paper. Right, this is what you're gonna do. You do it, you get arrested. Simple as that. Right, right. It's see, a form of control. Exactly. That's it. They're, just, they're, they're making us more and more of a puppet each day. Right. See, because they're trying to reverse and play on reverse psychology, play on people's sympathy. Like, oh, you know, but are there any cases where they got poison? You know, not that I'm aware of. Right. I mean, I, I, yeah. Sometimes you gotta. And if it is, it's being perpetuated by them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to make it look bad. But I mean, even in Philly, I mean, it's it's you know we're not allowed to feed the homeless, but we are out there doing it monthly, right. at least. You know, to kind of say fuck the system. We're we're yes, gonna you know right, help yeah. humanity. Well, let, let me ask this question because I, I get a lot of flack from my brothers and sisters. I mean, we don't put, I mean, I know a lot of us are anarchists, but why we don't put people in place to stop that kind of bullcrap legislation? We did. That's the thing. And then okay. they just came into the, they came to a part of the problem. You know what I mean? People, oh, so the, people, they, the people that were supposed to be there to help us are now, are now actually a part of the problem as well. It's false. Oh, wow. you know, it, it's true, though. Everybody that is within that corrupt government is corrupt in some way. Yeah, fair play, you'll get a few good people that actually want to help us, but they're not going to get anywhere. Right, right. Okay. They're going to get squashed by the rest of the majority yeah. of people in the office because it's not cool. And unfortunately, <laughs> most of them feel like if you can't beat them, join them, and they just settle with them create a system, I guess, that's more, because I'm sure, like, like just with the groups that we all met with at Stone Mountain, if we can get, because everybody has, like, delegations in all different states, if I guess, I guess what I want is more transparency until we can, like you said, get this whole thing changed, but in the meantime... It's going to take more events like Stone Mountain, everyone coming together and seeing that we can be together and fight together and get along and uh, see that we can do that with each other. That's going to make the difference. It's starting to make a difference. I mean, it's monumentous that we did it, and we're going to keep it on, keep it going. Uh, we're attacking on multiple fronts, uh, online as well as uh, protesting. Uh, okay, but I think, I, I want to say this. Thank, thank you to the clan for having that event that brought us all together. Oh, yeah. But now, because I heard it was only 25 people, yeah, actually, so, uh, it was 12. I heard 12. 12. 12. Oh, man. So, so it's like... Look at the videos of it. There's 12, 12 people. Okay. So, yeah, uh, uh, around, uh, around 500 police. So, uh, are we... Gonna, yard, like, barrier as well. Wow, wow. Are we going to need, I guess, a bigger target to, I guess, rally behind? Because, I mean, it seems like... Yeah, we had 12 people. It seems like the clan is pretty much... It's, it's not just the clan that we're, we were there for. But... Us as a, as a whole, we're, we're here to fight the, the corrupt and stop this bullshit once and for all. It doesn't matter who, who you are, what you're doing. If, you, if you're against that, if you're against the humanity, basically, you are a part of the problem. If, right. you know, everybody these days is just in it for itself or in it for one thing or, or another. Right. And it's just not getting us anywhere. Like we did, we all stood together that day at Stone Mountain. That's That's right. Right. We definitely stood for heritage over hate. Yeah. And some of us didn't agree with the flag or agreed with the flag, but at the end of the day, we weren't there for that. Right, right, right. I didn't hold that flag. I hold that flag once. Right, right, right. I mean, it wasn't about that. I mean, it was about putting aside differences. That's right. Whether you agreed with the Confederate flag or didn't agree with the Confederate flag. Right. We were all there for the same exact purpose. That's right. And yes, it turned out that there was only 12 of them, but from them trolling, you know, our pages, it sh they sure said there were going to be a lot more, but I think a lot of people chickened out at, towards the end. Right, right. There were a lot of threats about red shoelaces. Yeah. Yep. Flying yeah. around, we were there. Yeah. Oh, you mean like skinheads? Yeah. 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 One. Well, not just no. skinheads, I'm not saying skinheads, because the skinheads are like the sharps, they're against racism as well. Yeah. Oh, that's right, the sharps, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right, that's right. It's, 
that's a lot of people get confused. I'm at the right you know, them super yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people do get confused in that, like, they say the skin and dark are racist, but yeah, some people are racist, just like some of the BLM are racist. Right, right, you know, right. Some of the Confederates are racist. Yeah, everybody in their own way, some of some it is racist somewhere along the line. And you're not going to get past it, really, are you? Right, right. Well, I think, you know, it, it, I mean, I mean, Charles mentioned that, you know, I think as long as a group as a whole strives, I mean, you might have individual people that feel that might be racist, but I mean, I think, like, like clan as a whole, yeah. they're supposed to, their whole ideology is supposed to be racism, but I think, and then, um, I think as long as that group doesn't represent that, I think, you know, because okay, we're not going to change each other to the person, you know, but, no, you, you can't, can you? Right. But I mean, you know, uh, I we guess. don't need to change every, every single person. We just need the majority of the people to come together and right. fight against this crap, you know? and It's just like, we need, we do need to unite Absolutely. and stand together to fight against this. We can't do it on our own. Yeah, we might might be a lot of us. There might be a, we might have a lot of a numbers, but at the end of the day, we're not all in one place. Right. Well, for, for most part, we were united, and 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 because it was a chain reaction. Because if it weren't for y'all, I wouldn't know who got you know Michigan Confederates. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I think communication is key. It's always key. You know what I'm saying? Just like we're sitting right here now, people. You know, because Hollywood always wants to put a face on somebody make them the bad guy, you know. And I know as an audience, I know you guys, you know, yeah, they're, they're, all, they're the hackers, they're eating, they break in, you know, it's like, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know, so. It's not that we're breaking, we're, we're, we're taking back what's ours. Right, right. That's it. And not everyone's hackers. Okay. While we were on the front lines, you know, head to head, there was people on the back taking down their servers. Oh, the KKK website. The day we were at the Stone Mountain, right? A, gr a group of people that we that we know personally, Opicurus and Rogue Tech, take, took down all, all of the pages. Okay. Stormfront was down. Okay, you know, rkkk.org. That's still down now. Right. Who knows? Nice. KKK Knights is still down. Okay. It's been six days and it's still down. We're not going to do anything back up from that. Wow. Okay. Okay. But anybody can be anonymous. You just got to wake up and stop getting fed these lies that turn off the TV. Right. Do some research. Wake up. That's so right. You can be anonymous. I like that. <laughs> but y'all, I, 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 I can get my anonymous mask. But, um, mask, when we skip behind this mask, it's not a mask. We're not white. We're not black. We're right. not any race. We're not any gender. We are everyone. It's proven that we're one. We thought it might just be one face and showing one thing, but it's one idea. That's right. So why, why should everybody, everybody, yeah, everybody's different, but it, in a way it just projects of, of that we are that idea. It's not to cover our face to like say, oh, this is it, we're bad. It, it's, it's there to, to say, oh, this is what we are part of. That's right. It's, it's just like, like say, the clan where they're, they're hubs. That's right, right. That's right. to show that they're a part of that and stop, nobody says anything about that. So right. it's like, why are we terrorists for just wearing a mask? Right, right. It's exactly the same as what anybody else does. Mm. Okay, okay. Um uh well, okay, well, you guys already know we talk about America being corrupt because I, I I definitely challenge and question some of, you know, what we do internationally. Because I think a lot of times we go to different countries, wreak have it there, see how they react, then bring it home. Hell yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Like a lot of um, I didn't go into a lot. Right, right. A lot of, a lot of um, our police are trained in Israel, and we know the situation with Israel, Palestine. You know, oh. you know how they get down. So, oh yeah. You know, um, I think before they become a certain rank, they have to go to Israel and train and see how they handle like riots over there, and then they bring that back. That's not even a riot. Oh, that's just war, isn't it? Yes, it's yes. All right. our war out there. Yeah. That, that is human genocide. I mean, do we call it a war? It's human genocide. It's human genocide. It's human genocide. Yeah, it's genocide. Human yeah. genocide. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. It is. I've got a friend that's going out to Palestine in a couple of months. And she, she's going to fight to be a freedom fighter. Okay. And okay. it's like, she, the stuff that she tells me, the stuff that I've seen from her, is, it's just unreal. She got to be careful, man. She, 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 she killed people in cold blood. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, did you see the video of the guy, that, the, the Palestinian man that was on the floor and he shot him in the head? Yeah. Just because he was injured. They didn't want to get him an ambulance. He just shot him in the head. Dang. Like, you know, Big Palestine. That's it. That's right. 
Yeah, and that's not the first murder. It's, it's not. not. Yeah, they, they murdered several people like that. Just like, like, they, do, they do it daily. Every day there's somebody killed. Yeah. And it's like, how can how can they look at it and say that it's fine for them to do it just because right. they're not abiding by their rules? Right. But we got candidates saying, oh, we for Israel. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Shaking yeah. hands with Israel, giving them billions and billions of dollars each year. That's all America does. That's right, that's right. Same, yeah. like, Flint, Flint, Michigan, that's, that's, Israel's got their hand in that as well. Flint's oh, being sold right. off in bonds, and no, like, nobody says anything about it. Right, right, damn. Okay, okay. Oh, man. And I appreciate you guys' knowledge of the international, because you've got a lot of people who, uh, that are part of groups that they only want to deal with just, and I'm not, I have a problem with dealing with local politics, but it all is interconnected, you know? Yeah. Because like you said, they, 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 we have to look at things internationally because they're going to bring it home. You know, they, they use the other countries as a testing ground. They also use this country as a testing ground. That's true. I mean, col colonization, okay, is at this basic form. People are like, oh, you're conspiracy theorists because you believe this, but look what they did to the Native American Indians. That's right, yeah, that's fact. It can't happen. They've done it once, they can do it again. It is happening. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. what we're trying to stop. Yeah. In part as well. That's right. Yeah. Um. So I guess uh. I guess the next events. Um. I mean, you, you guys get in contact with the different groups. Yeah, like the, a lot of different groups. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, like I said, it was my first time meeting a lot of them. It was first time meeting for me meeting all the answer the different answer the groups, confederates as well. Oh, okay. okay. I met everybody for the first time then. We've been, we've been in contact with everybody, so... Okay, cool, cool, cool. You know. And I'm going to be everybody's official media. That's it, no, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going yeah, to do it, you know. Come to the event for us. For revolutionaries, by revolutionaries. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Speak yeah. the truth. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, you know. While fucking the system. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm with it, I'm with it, because, hey, the system ain't fucking us, so yeah, we, you know. System fucks us every day. Every yeah, single day. Now. Right. <laughs> Every day, you know. But, um, you know, they think, you know, I mean, they still feel these problems. And, you know, it's funny because they, the whole television thing with Bernie Sanders saying, oh, you know, they use the speech, oh, political revolution. And, um, why do you think that is? That they threw Bernie Sanders in the mix? To cause the havoc that they're doing, to, to make it look like they're actually want, wanting to do something. Okay, okay. It's got to be. You think about it, you throw some, one person in there that's willing to do good, or say that they're willing to do good, there's got to be something behind it. Oh, fluffer. Exactly, yeah, exactly that. We got Trump that's being, I mean, a lot of what he says is true. It's like on one extreme end, you got Hillary on the other extreme end going um, against him, and, and then you, you got, got Bernie, Bernie in, the in the middle. Right. You know what I mean? Maybe they're actually seeing that we're actually waking up and that people are wanting they're to They're scared. Vote. They're all scared. So they're going to put Barney up there, maybe detain everyone and say, okay, well, you know, I'm on your side and then vote for me and then. And then that's it, how done. Martial law. Right, right. You know what I mean? It could be, it could be anything. They could, could have anything planned. We right. don't know. We are, you know, we are. I think that they're feeling it. They're feeling that people are actually starting to stand up. Right, right. Because I know. Karis one made a point, man. He said that this country was on the verge of revolution and they both threw an Obama. Black president. Yeah, exactly. So that everybody kinda just kinda I guess kinda calmed down. Yeah, so to see what was gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because Bush was like pissing off everybody. <laughs> you know? He was pissing off everybody, you know, and it's just like, you know, um But that's kinda what his family has done. Prescott, Bush. Oh yes. I mean, a lot of people don't realize he was a traitor to the country. Yeah, I mean, Nazis, yeah. He was actually building ships for Nazi Germany. Yeah, the Nazis. So, I mean, he's, his whole family is based on treachery and civil unrest. Right, right. Yeah, but I mean, one can say we live in a capitalist system because, you know, I know, and you probably know about this, Winston Churchill begged FDR to come into the war. He kept refusing. He's like, uh, uh, what do I get out of it? What do we get out of it? So there were a lot of backdoor deals going on. And a lot, you know, our history don't tell us, but if it wasn't for Stalin, Hitler, Hitler sending his troops to Russia, 
that, that's, that really crippled the whole Nazi party, you know, sending them into the ice front, you know. But we waited until afterwards, then, it was, then we came in. But yeah, Winston Churchill had to keep begging FDR. Kept begging them, kept begging them, kept begging them. And that's why after World War II, we established a lot of colonies that Britain formerly owned. You know, so I know, you know, you, you're familiar with that old history. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't that we were against Nazis, it was just like, well, what do we get out of it type of deal. But America was like, what do we get out of it? They're still like that. Yeah, they've always been like that. They're like, oh, because we're against Hitler and we're against fascism. We're like, no, what do we get out of it? How much do we get? You know, like pirates, you know. So, you know, um, I mean, that's all. I'm, I'm sorry, Nick, Chris. That's a whole other <laughs> topic, man. That's, that's another interview. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's a whole other, yeah. I'm sorry for that, Chris. But I, yeah, I, sometimes I look back in history just to see how the foundation of America is. But, yeah, the whole, you know, how, you know, when you're talking about Prescott Bush, you was just trying to see how much money you can get out of the whole thing, you know. Um... And I asked this question of the bastards. What's the difference between racism and fascism? You're not going to ask that question. You don't want to answer. No, no, I'm asking y'all. I mean, I don't know the answer, but I just want to get y'all. I just want to hear y'all, y'all say it, you know. Because we're in, a, we're in a new age now where fascism. I think, okay, let me, let me just ask you this. Let me, let me just say this. This, this is my take on racism and fascism. Racism is like so obvious, like the Ku Klux Klan. Fascism is a little bit more trickier. Like you got people, like black people, standing behind Trump, and he's coming. He's a fascist, but he is more or less like if you think the way I do, then you're cool. So I think fascism is more mass than racism. It's more complex. I don't know. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got people backing people that know they want them. Right, right, right. Exactly. Saying like saying, well, you follow me, him, everything will be great. Right. But when really it's not going to be like that. Right, right. You're not all Americans. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Right. So, so you're not, you might be all Americans as well. Right. And what? Because now they're using fascism to recruit like the men, man. They recruit a lot of black people. Exactly, yeah. You know? Like, what's going on? Right. So that, that's why I say fascism is more a little bit more complex. They'll use. Different wordplay together, and you and as yeah, you as know, a, as a like a, a lover, and then they'll bring you in for that, and then that's it. How you you're in that you're in that predicament of work, what you're going to do now? You're stuck there, right? You know what I mean? Right. And you're listening to like one one hierarchy, well, like a hierarchy of people, and you're not even getting anywhere really. You're not going to get anywhere in the long run, right? Right like now, around the circles. Now, because one can say that classism is a form of fascism, like based on your income, you know. I don't, know. I, mean, I, I don't know. No, okay. Would you say, would you say, would you say it's yourself? Um, I would say that I've seen America wiggle its way out of all kind of predicaments. Meaning, like I said, like Obama. You know, he's pro war, pro Israel, pro Saudi Arabia. Yeah. But my mother might say, well, he's a black man. You know what I'm saying? So they can't use a race card. No. He's not being racist. He's being fascist. He's being fascist, right? So that's why I say, you know, that's why you know the the political system is definitely fascism, but they don't they don't use like overt racism or over just they they use they're more tricky with it, you know. And I think it's more alluring, you know, as far as like um, persuading people to to, to to look at things a certain way, you know. Manipulation. Yeah. As far as you know, you know, like I mean, oh, give me, give me a great example. You know, they'll use ISIS to say all Muslims are bad. You know, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not all Muslims, but I'll say that I'm not. No, I'm not a lot of Muslims that, that don't even think about Islam as you know what I mean. As uh, well, ISIS itself you know, are doing what they want to do, uh, being a terrorist. They're not. They're not like that. I know a lot of them that are peaceful. Right. right. Um, my, my friend Mohammed Mata. He's, a, he's in Palestine at the moment. Okay. Uh, he's a Muslim. And he, he's not out there being a terrorist. He's out there saving people's lives. Okay. Yeah, he's right. going to the refugee camps and making sure that people are alright, making them food, cooking right. for everyone, cleaning them, washing their hair. They're just doing little bits. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's like. Who cares? Not all of us, yeah. It's, it's putting the label on somebody. 
Right. That's why I said that. It's like saying all white people are racist. Exactly. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just not right. You label the one person for something, but then you, you're saying that you're not that thing, you're not against them yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's just stereotypes. But America's tricky people. people. They'll use people to do research on religion, and it'll say in the Quran that, you know, those who don't believe in Muhammad and Allah are uh, what they call uh, kafirs. And it says in the Quran, you know, all kafirs shall bow to Allah or, you know, they'll use that. It's just like going to court and let me say, I'm writing some rap lyrics. Yeah, I'll buy, buy and shoot them up and they'll use that against me in the court. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, no, I'm just, you know, the Hollywood can do it all day, but I'll do it. They can use it against me and say, well, you said here that you would drive by and Mm, got got on the street, <laughs> you know. Busted cop. Yeah, busted cop. It says it right here. And now I'm looking yeah. guilty. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. They, they do that with Islam. Yeah, exactly. They do that. So well, you know, Christ says, you know, destroy all non-believers. Yeah, you know, I think it's all open to, to interpretation. The Bible. Right. I can read the Bible. You can read the Bible. That's we true. can see two totally different things, and that's I think that's with most religions. <coughs> I could read the Quran and you could read the Quran and me and you may interpret it totally different. So okay. how can me and you be categorized together into believing the same beliefs when we all interpret things differently? Yeah. Mm. I'm glad you brought that up. I've read the Quran. I've right. read the Bible. Um, and, you know, I think it's just all about interpretation. So you may read okay. that all non-believers must die, and I may read that all non-believers will die in a different way. Okay. Now, and I also believe that sometimes people can play on them words and twist them around right. and to get people to see it. It's like a way of trickery. Okay, now in the Bible, it says, if a man lie with another man, he shall be shot. Is that... Left up for interpretation, or is it that two men lie together and they need to be kill homosexuals? How are they um, saying lie together? Like lie, I guess. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there, but you know, I mean, but that's so a lot of time. I mean, right, right. I mean, yeah, they lie say, together. I mean, is it actually like lying together, laying in a bed together, or is it standing up together against something? I mean, it's all about interpretation. I mean, each person is going to perceive it differently, but of course, they're obviously talking about homosexuality and sleeping together. But um, it's that's just what someone's teaching them. Someone taught them to to look at it that way and to feel that way, and not everyone believes or feels it, has those beliefs. Right, right. And, and, that's, and I'm, I'm glad you said that. Now, that's why I said theocracy is kind of tricky because in the age we're living in now, we, we're evolving. You know, we're, we're, we're more, that is just my take, and I know people might disagree or maybe they can debate me on it. I think we're leaning more towards a, where people are looking more at human rights, but that's the bottom line, you know, human Which rights. we need them to look at, honestly. Yeah, yeah. You know, so human rights. in the right direction. That's right, yeah, yeah. And I think human rights is from everything. It's all us. It is all us. This is what we're here for. Fight for us. Right, right. It's, it's, it's our right, right to do what we're doing. And they're just stopping us from doing it. But see, I'm saying that the government is so. That's it. See, I don't know about Cointel Pro, right? Who? Cointel Pro? No. Okay, Cointel Pro was. Um, it was, it was uh, uh, basically to take out the Panthers. No, it was an infiltration group. And what they did was to learn ideologies. It started with Jay Hoover. To learn ideologies and to twist your own ideologies against you. Social engineering. Right. So, like, a person can take, like, let's just say we go to Bahrain or uh, go to the Middle East. And we can show where your beliefs is violating human rights. And now you done unroot, uh, rooted their whole belief system, their whole, their whole everything. And we've done it in Libya. We've done it in uh, Egypt. We've done it in, I mean, all of I me, mean, not there. <laughs> I can go down and list the countries that we've done it to, that we played uh, the people against 
uh, I guess, traditions and cultures that they've been used to for a long time. You know, but in, in a sense, that's why I say, does it just come basically come down to human rights? Because, because I want to, I want to, what I want to do, and I don't. This is a whole other. I want to get. Now I have a friend that I knew a call, so he's 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 a, he's a Muslim. Yeah. But he doesn't like when I call him a martyr because you know he smokes weed. You know, shout out Yanga. You know, he does things that normal Muslims wouldn't do. But it's funny because I talked to a friend that I have in Bahrain, and I'm like, "Hey, I smoke weed too." So, <laughs> you know, so I'm like, "Okay, so they do a lot of things that are in." He was saying I'm Christians too. I mean, you know, you got Christians smoking and drinking, so. It's like, I don't know, it's like, I guess, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that, I guess, just because you're that sort, just because you are that race doesn't mean you have to abide by the rules. Right, right. You don't have to. You're, you are your own person, you're a free entity to what the fuck you are. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, again, no gods, no masters. I like that. Every time, like only natural disasters. When you get involved, <laughs> animals in the animal kingdom, they evolve. Right. They change to yeah. make their lives better, the surroundings. But why can't we? I'm glad you said it. Why, why are we doing the bottom? Let the animals go. Why are we got them in the zoos and the aquariums? Why, why are we do that? I think it's scared of them evolving into something bigger. I mean, we got so much technology you can watch animals on the TV. You, know, you, know, like, you can build your own animal for fuck's sake. <laughs> You know, you could. You, you know, you can now. You can do what you exactly, want. Exactly, yeah, you can. You can do what you want. Wow. You could grow your own shot. But we're just being oppressed. Right. We've been trained to not do what we want and do what they want us to do for so long. Now everyone's in a routine of doing it and it finally needs to fucking stop. Oh, the bullshit needs to stop. The big question is who is they? Yeah, exactly. Who are they? And what is their intent at the end of the day? I mean, it seems like they've had years and years and years of studying Absolutely. humanity yes. and how people react. Therefore, they're playing a psychological war Absolutely. with us, experimentation, you know, trying to put, pit us against each other. Absolutely. You know? But well, if we're infighting, we're not fighting them. And that's exactly. Exactly. Right. So that's what they don't, they don't want us to fight them. That's, that's actually probably what they're more like, afraid of. Like you know, like you are a stone mountain, but the, yeah. For, but for one reason, why everybody cheered together as, was, as a group. She was on the megaphone, pretty much telling everybody to stop the infighting, that we needed to unite against the common enemy. Right. The police came over and said, you over the rest And at that oh, time was when the the Confederates and the, the Black yeah, Panthers right. were out there shouting at each other right. before right. they actually before they actually shook hands. Um, you know, she made her speech on the megaphone. All of a sudden, there was silence. People actually stopped, right. and cheered. cheered, and at that moment, police came over to her and told her, hey, you, you're not allowed. <laughs> Right. Right. We all die, guys. Yeah. How you this <laughs> one? <laughs> they told them to stop fighting, but they did not want me yelling to do so. Is what they said. It's what they said. The scariest moment for them was when we were shaking hands with them one another yeah, and standing right. there together. That's they what they fear the most is when we come together. They would prefer us fighting. Listen, hey, you are not a racist black. We don't want you guys shaking hands. This is no black name. That's it. Oh, y'all, man, we all oh, shit. We down to two minutes, y'all. <laughs> and when I was supposed to say this, every end of each every all y'all, because, you know. I, I just want to say that for us to do what we need to, we, we do we need to unite as, as, as one. And whether you black, white, Asian, green, yellow, pink, unicorn, whatever, whatever you want to be, we all bleed red, and and we've got to do it now for, for you, man, it? That's right, that's right. I would agree with him. And I think the message is to promote love. I mean, Absolutely. you know, show love to our fellow humans. And then show the rest of us how to do it. I think going out, actually going out there and doing direct action, having people see you do it opens their eyes. Absolutely, yeah. And you know, I prove that it's so low. I agree with Nathan. I believe unity is key. I believe that we're not going to get anywhere if we're too busy worried about 
what flag somebody's carrying, yeah. what clothes that they're wearing, um, what belief systems they have. As long as they have love in their heart and they want to change, it doesn't matter who's standing next to you. It doesn't matter their, you know, ideas. Um, because we're stronger as we come together. Absolutely. We love each other. We help each other. We feed each other. Like it used to be. That's right. I think we need to work together, regardless of any belief systems or That's right. we're all one people. We're a human race. Absolutely. Why are we letting color, race, sex, all this other stuff separate us? That's right. Because the media says we're supposed to? Right. I mean, we just need to all get together, love each other, and work on the things that are wrong with society together. That's right. I just want to take the time to do this. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what they don't want to happen. That's so right. We appreciate That's you being right. here. Yes, sir. This is, this is what we need. Yes, sir. And uh, we do not forgive. We do not forget. We are anonymous.